vlogging? Yeah! I love the whole Christmas sad. I love why is the pinky toes in the floor? Stop. <laughs> He's tested for COVID and it came back positive. Hey everyone, this is my first weekly vlogmas video so if you didn't know i'm going to be doing i guess like daily vlogs but they're going to be in a weekly format up until christmas which i'm really excited about we've got some really fun plans leading up to christmas i just love it i feel like i make sure that we're busy and i try and like cram in as many festive things as possible so <laughs> it's gonna be fun to bring you guys along i'm actually starting this vlog before december so it's the 29th of november and brayden's woken up quite sick unfortunately and he's tested for COVID and it came back positive which is so interesting because he actually got COVID around this time last year but he didn't have any symptoms he wasn't sick but this time he is quite sick so obviously I'm gonna look after him so I went to the shops and just picked up a bunch of food I've tested and I'm negative I feel completely fine aside from having my period <laughs> But yeah, I feel completely fine. I had COVID only like a couple of months ago So hopefully I've got a bit of immunity because of that. I thought I'd do a little grocery haul show you what I got First of all, I got this zucchini slice We've tried the Coles brand and then this other one the Coles sells But the Coles brand is definitely our favorite. It was so nice. I got this again, Brayden We've been having this with like a salad and some garlic bread. Should I just go through the random stuff that I don't usually get? What's I got you some two-minute noodles <laughs> I don't even know if you'll use these, but I just thought like if you're not feeling well, then you've got an easy, easy lunch. Yeah. I got you some red frogs. They're raspberries. Oh. Oh. I thought they were red frogs. They're raspberries. Some Nexpa. It's like kombucha, but like an orange flavored. I just thought you might want something like to drink. Some Jats. Ooh. Some little mini pizzas. That's gonna be fine. I thought if you want like an easy little snacky lunch, you could have like a margarita pizza. I got these mini chicken satay skewer kebabs. Very nice. I got you some biscuits. Oh, yeah. Your favorites. <laughs> some pretzels. Nice. I just thought you might feel like snacking. Some microwave for like jazz and rice. Some chicken tenders. Two bags of microwavable vegetables. I got a massive bag of salmon, bread, spaghetti, milk, olive oil, sweet potato, some white potatoes for mashed potato, brown onion, a cucumber, a salad mix, two tomatoes, some chickpeas. I've got a few things here which I think I'm going to make a salad with or like a pasta salad so I've got some for that and then some crushed Italian tomatoes for my spag bowl, some eggs and then a bunch of like wrapping bits to wrap Christmas presents because I might actually start doing that tonight and I thought this wrapping paper was really cute. I got three rolls and they're all brown but they've got like little Christmassy designs on them. I don't know I just think classic brown paper looks really nice especially under the tree so I thought I would get that and then also some ribbon to wrap around it and then I saw this it's a little pack of Christmas stickers and the stickers just have a spot for you to write your name and who it's for so I thought that would be handy so I'm planning on maybe wrapping some presents tonight because everything's currently sitting in bags under the tree so we really wanted to try and do all of our shopping before the sales ended and we've pretty much done that which is really really good so I think over the next week Lots of parcels will be arriving, so at least we're prepared now. But anyway, yeah, I also feel good that we've done the grocery shop now because I don't think I'm going to get sick, but you never know. But yeah, now we're fully prepped anyway, so I think we're going to chill out this evening and watch a Christmas movie. Do you want to do that? Yes. Yeah? We need to make like a Christmas movie bucket list or something because I feel like there's so many to watch and then it's so easy to forget. brayden has been saying that we need to watch this movie called Gremlins and I've never heard of it, but apparently it's like a well-known thing. Why have I never heard of Gremlins? So after all that, after doing the grocery shop, we decided to get pizza. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to make you feel better, hey? Oh, yeah. I think maybe the mini pizzas just inspired us and we were like, but they're mini, so it's not dinner. So, oh, this smells so good. We never get takeaway pizza either. Like, this no. is not what we do if we're going to get takeaway. So Brayden's got the movie Gremlins ready which I'm curious to watch. When was it made? It was made in like 1980 or something. That's what I said, that's really old. Happy Wednesday everyone, it's the next day and I didn't vlog all day because I was literally glued to my laptop coming up with my Christmas gift guide and I've finished it now and it took me 
all day today plus numerous other days. I really hope it helps you guys out because I feel like I've pretty much covered everything. I literally even did a little gift section for my Kmart lovers. By the time this vlog goes up, I might even have like my YouTube gift guide up if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, I did want to make that a priority because you guys did request it. Anyway, I thought we could do some gift wrapping this evening because I have quite a few gifts to wrap. Oh God. I don't know how I'm going to do this without showing you guys the gifts as well because I obviously don't want to spoil it for my friends and family in case they're watching. <laughs> actually, you know what we can talk about quickly? Oh, here it is. Okay, so Brayden and I actually went to Typo the other day and we picked up this. It's like a little voucher book, I guess, and you make your own little vouchers. It says, to the person who has everything, let's go and do something fun. And pretty much you fill out the little vouchers yourself so you've got like admit one but you're invited to and i just thought this was really really cute and the reason we decided to get this kind of as like a joint present is because we've decided that for this year's gifts that we're giving each other we're going to do something a bit different so you might have heard of like the five senses gifts and basically the idea of that is that you get five different gifts for each sense so you've got like something that smells nice something that tastes nice something that feels nice etc so anyway i was inspired by that concept and i thought it would be fun to do the five love languages gifts so pretty much brayden and i are getting each other one like main gift so that's our gift love language then for words of affirmations we're going to write each other like a nice letter or a nice card then for quality time we've got to plan a date i don't know if we're going to do that together or separately and surprise each other for acts of service i was a little bit stuck but i thought this voucher book could come in handy for that so like this one says to and then redeem by and good for so i don't know you could get creative with that and then obviously there's physical touch <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this. You can get yeah, creative with that as well. I don't know if this whole concept seems a bit silly, but I just thought it was cute for something different. Anyway, I just wanted to share the little voucher book. Also, I feel like some of these gifts I can wrap just because like I know my brothers, for example, probably won't be watching this vlog. I'm gonna wrap my brother Nat's Christmas present. Nat, if you're watching, click off right now, but I wanna share it. It's actually really cool. We got him this like portable, coffee espresso machine so basically you can use it on the go with actual coffee pods so i'm guessing you either charge it up or it's battery operated and then you pop the pods in the top and your coffee comes out and i was like he loves camping so that's perfect Good morning everyone, I'm currently getting ready because I'm actually going out today. I did a COVID test this morning and I'm still negative so all good to go out which is really good and Brayden's on the mend now which is also a positive but it's actually my management's Christmas party today so if you didn't know I'm actually signed with a management for social media i've been with quite a few different managements over the years and i've also managed myself for certain periods of time but i'm now with five management i've been with them for over a year and it's one of my good friends izzy who runs vive and she's the best she's one of my good friends and i'm so proud of her for like making such a successful business and a bunch of my other friends including my sister are also signed with five so it's always fun whenever we go to events because like all of my friends are there and i know today is going to be a lot of fun because it's literally going to be just the vibe girls and literally everyone who signed with vibe is so lovely the whole experience of just being with this management has been so positive and i just don't know what i would do without izzy and maddie who also works for vibe they're just the best and helps me out so much. So our Christmas party is in Kuchi, which will be fun. We're going to somewhere, I can't remember what it's called, but it's somewhere I haven't been before. And the dress code is pink and white. So I'll show you my outfit in a little bit, but I think it's really cute. I've been waiting to wear this top, so it's like the perfect opportunity. Also, can we just take a minute to notice how much my hair has faded already? I don't know if like you can see that on camera, but this is the second time I've washed it. And I feel like it's already 
quite a lot lighter this is kind of like the color that i was originally going for like more of a strawberry blonde but it's like fading gradually so it's kind of fun because i get the best of both worlds but yeah i'm curious to know how many washes i'll be able to do until like i'm pretty much back to blonde but i'm gonna go back to copper because i just love it so much but i need to talk to my hairdresser and see what we can do and see if there's a way we can make it a bit more permanent or if maybe i can bring home like a conditioner and keep topping up the color myself i'm not sure ah can you hear me yeah oh i don't know what to do with my hair yeah i'm just doing this like slick up Oh yeah, nice. Oh, I like that. What do you reckon goes with this outfit? Like what kind of... It's like a white skirt and then that top. Just like hair out of code. Just simple? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> my straightener and just kind of like curling the ends so they flicked in a little bit now i'm just going to go in with my day cactus three in one styling cream it might have been better to use this before but this stuff's so good it really helps with like frizz and stuff so as you can see it's like a little bit frizzy at my root so i'm just going to pop some in here it doesn't make my hair feel greasy at all which is really nice um, it doesn't weigh it down and isn't tacky. One of those products that like helps you style your hair but also doesn't like ruin it and make you need to wash it I don't know. I really like it. Okay, so I've got to go now, but I'm ready. This is the outfit. Just got a white box top and white box skirt on. I love it. <laughs> Ella, why is your pinky... <laughs> Ella, why is your pinky toes on the floor? Stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, why are you doing that? <laughs> you... This is the I'll dairy free the dessert. Thanks for eating all the watermelon. That is a okay. Mm -hmm. This is really nice. Can I say hi to the vlog? Hi vlogs, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma Claire. I thought I would just make an appearance on a YouTube channel again because it's been a while. It's been a while since we've all been on the vlog. Is this a vlog miss? This is a weekly vlog, vlog, vlog man. Welcome to the week we love this. Have fun! That only comes. I've never heard this. You've never heard this. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Merry Christmas, everyone. Just have a party. I got it. A celebration. You can all end. Don't be lonely. Down and dirty. Go check out my women. Shoot me, do me. You know the fallen flower. All over town. Get out of the way now. It's all the fun, 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 fun. We did just have a massive meal, but we've all decided to go through Macca's on the way home because we were really thirsty. I was really craving like a frozen Coke. Wait, Lily, oh you God. can have those. Mm. Thank you, honey. I don't know why. I think that Prosecco made me really thirsty. Mm. Not that this is water, but I don't know. I feel like sometimes you just crave a Coke. Mm -hmm. And it hits different. Yeah. Oh, no. Let me know in the comments. Have any of you guys, like, as you've got older, started to crave Coke more? Really bad. Because I swear... Like me no. and like multiple of my they're friends around best, me have started to crave Coke more as we've got older. Don't you think, Jesse? They're not fresh chips. No, no, oh, 100%. My don't you session think? with Coke Zero has begun. I blame Alice. Oh. Our friend who is a dietitian loves drinking Coke No Shook. Yeah. I was like, that's bizarre. But then I started drinking it and I'm like, yeah, Maybe that's I get what it. it is. I don't I know. I actually I like wonder nice if it's like a hormone thing. <laughs> that's really weird, but it's like the amount of times yeah, I just like crave it. Down. Or maybe that's addiction. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I swear there's people around me who like drink more Coke than they used to. Maybe yeah. I'm just influenced. I'm influenced for sure. I don't know. I just think there's like some kind of Coke cult. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to my family's house. Well, we had to come here. <laughs> Bless you. I forgot to say, but the place that we went was called Shutters in Coogee, and it was really, really nice. We were there for like hours. So good chatting to all of the girls. Like, love the team so, so much. My camera's gonna die, but I just wanted to say that I'm at my family's house, and yeah, we went to Shutters in Coogee, and now I'm here, and I'm gonna help Lily decorate the family's Christmas tree which 
I feel like will be nice. And since it's on the 1st of December, it feels very fitting. Hi, Murphy. Hi, Murph. I think we're gonna pop on Elf while we decorate the tree. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Day in, right? bum, bum, bum. Guys, I watched Polar Express last night and your hair's on my nostrils. Sorry, <laughs> you're just quite comfy to lie on. But I did not realize that Polar Express was filmed as like a CGI thing. So basically, Tom Hanks literally was acting out both the little boy, like the main character little boy, and the train driver. I'm just like and mind blown. And the homeless guy. I'm actually mind blown and by that. And Father, Christmas. and Father Christmas. So like if you look on TikTok, probably on YouTube as well, you can see videos of him acting it out and then they like turned well, him into like... I didn't know that. I was just saying to Brayden, I was like, I can't believe how much the characters look like the voice actors and I couldn't get my head around it. I was like, wow, they really took a lot of inspiration. Well, that's why, because it's them. It's not even... Yeah, but like he didn't, he wasn't everyone. Like no, the girl, for example, looks a bit like the voice actor. Um, anyway, I was actually a bit mind blown by that. Let's decorate the tree. made myself some eggs on toast for breakfast and I have decided that I think I'm gonna do vlogmas but like daily vlogmas but over on my TikTok I filmed yesterday and I'm currently filming today which is the 2nd of December but I thought it'd be fun to do something a bit different today I've been inspired I follow this girl called Emily Kaiser you should follow her on TikTok she's really fun to follow but she's been doing these like mornings in her life which are a bit more like ASMR. It's like a vlog, like more, it's all more of a long form kind of video, but she just doesn't kind of ASMR and like she doesn't explain necessarily what she's doing. She just kind of shows. Anyway, I thought I'd do that for my day in the life today. Kind of like a little fly on the wall series. I literally thought to myself, I don't know if this is a stupid name, but I thought it could be cool to like call the little series fly on the wall. Not like the whole of Vlogmas, but just that concept. Because I think it's kind of interesting sometimes to just like see the mundane things that are going on and like hear the ASMR but like not explain what's going on. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't know why I think that's interesting. So if you're not on TikTok, definitely go over and follow me because I'll be posting a lot more over there. And then it will be different to like my YouTube vlogs as well because obviously this is much more personable. I get to chat to you guys properly. But yeah, that's my idea. I'm really enjoying making these like mini TikTok vlogs I think after doing them daily when I was on holiday, I've just been inspired. The plan for today is that I'm gonna do a bunch of filming. I really wanna do a sit down Christmas gift guide and talk through that like Google Docs document that I made and like actually show you guys photos of the gifts and stuff. So that's my plan and then maybe I'll edit that and then if I get time, I'll film some like gift guide for Instagram and TikTok and stuff, but we'll see because I don't know if that's too much. Because I have a feeling like the video is going to take a while to do. But that is my plan. Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm so excited to just get out of this apartment. And also to do something other than just editing. Because all day yesterday I was filming my gift guide and editing it. And it's over 50 minutes. Like literally nearly an hour worth of edited footage. So I had to go through like three hours of footage originally. And then I went through and like got all of the photos of the gifts and stuff and had to insert them. So it's finally done, which feels so nice. I was finding that task very tedious, but I think it should be worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. But I am heading out today because Brayden and I are going to a Christmas party. Brayden is coming out of isolation today. He actually tested negative, which is really, really good. He's feeling so much better and yeah, we're really excited to see our friends. I haven't seen them in ages, so it's gonna be nice to catch up. It's like a bunch of couples and we're doing a secret Santa. Secret Santas are always fun because I don't know about you guys, but I mean, we don't take them fully seriously, especially when you don't have like a really high budget. We try and get something that's like funny, but also they'll use. So I'll try and vlog a little bit when we get there, but 
This is my outfit. I've been waiting for the right time to wear this. It's just this slip dress from White Fox. I feel like it's the perfect Christmas party dress and it's a beautiful day today. So I think it's the perfect option. We've just got here, but we popped to the shops to pick up a few things. I think they've got plenty of food there. So we didn't get too many things, but you know, had to get some Christmas lint balls. That was Brayden's idea. I really wanted to get Christmassy stuff. So I saw this, it's by the Coles brand. I don't even know who it is. Puff, I'm not even going to attempt to say it, but it says they are soft spice biscuits glazed with a sugar icing. And then, have you guys ever seen these? Because I have never seen these at the shops before. But they're original glazed popcorn. So like Krispy Kreme donuts on popcorn. And I was like, I need to try that. That sounds delicious. So, the foodie in me is very happy right now. Okay. One. I didn't distract you to be fair. What do you, what do you want now? Get away from my camera. Morning, your turn. Like, yeah. 16. Where are you getting to? Get the camera okay. over there. So, oh, no, 12. Look, 12 so out there. Yeah. Can you do some vlogging for me? Yay! You want to do some vlogging? Yeah! What are we doing right now? Tell everyone what we're doing. We're doing gymnastics! <laughs> That's what we're doing. And what's everyone else doing? Yeah, what, what are you? Game. What's the game? Fin, um, Fin, you know, Finska. Yeah. Liam's trying out his Secret Santa present, which um, I got him. We worked out that, well, he worked out that I was the Secret Santa. It's like this shop funnel. Are you just having one anyway, Jay? Up the Jay. I thought we were having the shots for the game. Are you just having one? <laughs> you just wanted one. We're gonna play for the girls. With the boys. Yes. This has become a little bit of a tradition. We played this last year too, hey. For the girls. Although we play it with the boys and highly I don't remember it. Highly recommend for playing it with boys and girls. Is it like, what, what actually is it? It's, it's like, a, like, there's like different categories, but the main thing that we like best is that you have to like vote for who would it be. So we'd like have a scenario and like who's most, you know, who's most likely to X and then you vote. Okay. It's fun. It's good. It's a I good like time. talking games. Talking games are my favorite. Because we <laughs> love talking. <Yeah. laughs> Morning, happy Sunday. Actually, it's afternoon now. We have just been listening to Jack Johnson in the car because we totally forgot, but we're both going to see Jack Johnson tomorrow. Mm. And like, I don't know how the heck we managed to forget that because we love Jack Johnson. I think we knew it was coming up, but we just weren't thinking of it. Yeah, and then how did it come about? You were talking about something. You were like, wait, we've got Jack Johnson tomorrow. So yeah, we were like, we better listen to his music because I know he's got like a new album and we don't know all of them, mm. but I just love him. Although I feel like his OG songs are my favorite. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Maybe they're just the ones that I know the best as well, but we actually saw him in concert. Was it like six? Ago, no, Brayden. It was yeah. when we first started going out. It was when you lived in your old house. It was like five or six years ago. I actually vlogged it. We are going to go and get some fish and chips for lunch. We're just out at the moment. We went like for a walk this morning and got coffee and then we went to my family's house and just popped in to see them and just having a chilled Sunday really. I think mm. like, yeah, after this we're gonna go home and do a bunch of cleaning up because since like we couldn't really leave the apartment much this week, it's a mess, like we have so much recycling to take down because I just don't like taking it down on my own. <laughs> so basically when Brayden can't leave the house, it means that the recycling <laughs> packs up. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go and do that in a little bit. And I'm excited for some fish and chips. I've come to the Barra in Gaimia, which is a really nice fish and chip shop. And it's like such a nice sunny day. So it's like the perfect day for fish and chips. So we picked up a combo, $38 for all of this. Not bad. First of all, we have some grilled fish. Oh, yum. It's like grilled calamari as well. We've got grilled calamari and some prawn skewer sticks. Oh my gosh. I have tried the chips though, just because when we went to the Halloween party, our friends Jess and Matt bought these chips with them and they were really good. So that's why I was like, let's go there. Chicken salt chips. If you guys aren't from Australia, you need to like buy chicken salt somehow and put it on your chips. 
because it's the best thing ever. And then it also came with a little salad. We got like a crunchy noodle salad mixed with a quinoa salad. Perfect. I'm so sorry that I haven't vlogged too much today because I'm doing like these daily TikToks now. Um, for vlogmas, I feel like I've been like focusing on filming a bit for that as well So I did do like all like the cleaning and stuff of the apartment, but I kind of filmed that for TikTok, but we ended off the night by watching a Christmas movie. We watched the holiday my favorite Brighton <laughs> I feel like You're just like a paid actor that just is placed in the show right now mm. <laughs> We both really enjoyed the holiday and I actually have come up with a like Christmas movie bucket list, which I posted on my story this evening. And I think there's 28 movies or something. I didn't come up with all of them myself. You guys actually suggested them, which was so helpful. So thank you for that. But yeah, I've watched a bunch of them already, to be honest. But well, not this year, but I've seen them in the past. But of course, I'm going to rewatch them because I feel like Christmas movies you can rewatch. And... There's also quite a few that I haven't seen as well. So I'll insert that here in case you guys want to see it. But someone just DM'd me actually and she was like, I feel like you need to like rate each of these movies as you watch them and like report back to us. And I thought maybe I should actually do that on my story or something because I feel like I could definitely get a lot of these movies watched before Christmas. Mm. So, so far we've done The Holiday. I've watched Elf with my sister and we've watched Polar Express, the classics. But since it is Sunday night tonight, that wraps up the first week of the weekly Vlogmas. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along for the week. I'll pick up the camera again tomorrow and check in with you guys. But please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.